interesting things are happening about solid state batteries and we have some great updates about solid state batteries first hyundai and kia announced solid state battery with factorial energy the korean automakers will join forces with massachusetts based factorial energy for its development and sk innovation and solid power partner to produce now look at this automotive scale solid state batteries and i'm going to tell you all about this friends welcome back everyone for those of you who'd like to hear more about solid state battery updates this is armin harian from talknews.com please give us thumbs up and share this report in social media tweet it out we would greatly appreciate if you would like to hear more so solid state battery friends these days is a big buzzword right now as car manufacturers are looking at ways to speed up its development in order to introduce it in a production electric vehicle as quickly as possible. Toyota looks to be the first to have such a battery in a production electric vehicle. Uh, as I've showed a video, um, I showed a video of Toyota uh, driving on the street with solid state battery mark on it. But Korea's big automotive duo, comprised of Hyundai and Kia, right now has just announced its own project to develop solid state batteries the manufacturers won't be doing it alone though and they will work together with a company called factorial energy based in warburn massachusetts which is already developing its own solid state technology in fact according to the official press release from hyundai factorial solid state breakthrough here's what it says addresses key issues holding back wide scale consumer adoption of electric vehicles driving range and safety factorial's advances are based on fast factorial electrolyte system technology which leverages a proprietary solid electrolyte material that enables safe and reliable cell performance with high voltage and high capacity electrodes and has been scaled in 40 ah cells that perform at room temperature do you guys know what ah means i forgot i used to remember that but i forgot now so if you know please write in the comment section i would greatly appreciate it so fast which i said is factorial electrolyte system technology is safer than conventional lithium-ion technology extends driving range by 20 to 50 percent and is dropping compatible for easy integration into existing lithium-ion battery manufacturing infrastructure. Hyundai doesn't specify how much that translates to in miles or what it's basing its numbers on, but up to 50% more range than conventional lithium-ion batteries is definitely a noteworthy increase. Today's conventional uh, lithium-ion batteries can go from 300 to 500 plus miles um, of range, so we're talking about what from 500 to 800 750 miles of range potentially they also mentioned that this technology is safer than the mainstream technology out right now and that's it's also approaching a cost parity with lithium-ion cells currently being used that would mean less than 100 dollars per kilowatt hour one major omission from the press release announcing all of this had to do with the time frame unlike toyota which plans plans to have a solid state battery in prototype this year or BMW in 2025 this joint effort has no set date for either a prototype or an actual production vehicle to be made but SK innovation and solid power partnered to produce automotive scale solid state batteries battery manufacturer SK innovation announced yesterday a memorandum of understanding an agreement to jointly develop and manufacture solid state batteries for electric vehicle using solid power proprietary electrolyte technology the goal of the partnership is to validate solid powers all solid state battery and electrolyte production processes and work together to further develop the technology sk innovation is a chemical energy and electric uh, battery focused subsidiary of south korean conglomerate sk group in addition to decades of petroleum refining sk 
innovation has become a global battery supplier, particularly for automakers. This includes companies like Ford, which announced a joint venture with the company this past May and fellow Korean company Hyundai Motor Group. While it may not be as renowned of a name as SK Innovation, Solid Power is no stranger to deals with legacy automakers either. Around the same time as Ford's aforementioned venture with SK Innovation, it also announced a $130 million round of funding alongside BMW to support Solid Power's solid-state battery development. They're not alone either. Last June, Solid Power announced a planned merger with Decarbonization Plus Acquisition Corporation uh, to list on the NASDAQ, which included $350 million cash in trust. Friends, um, now as I'm talking about all of these updates about solid-state batteries, what do you think? When do you think we will have a car commercially available with solid-state batteries in them? Do you think Toyota will be the first or one of these companies? Now, SK Innovation sees potential in Solid Power's proprietary solid electrolyte as the company looks to partner up to see development of these electric vehicle solid state batteries across the finish line to implement them into its own production processes. In a recent press release from Solid Power, the company announced a memorandum of understanding with SK Innovation to jointly develop solid state batteries using the former's proprietary sulfide-based solid electrolyte. Solid Power has replaced the flammable liquid electrolyte in a conventional Lithium ion battery, which its uh, which its own proprietary uh, with its own proprietary electrolyte. The Colorado-based battery company says the result is all solid-state battery cells that are more stable at a wider temperature range and provide better energy density compared to the best available rechargeable battery cells. Both parties intend to work together on all solid state cell development, validation and production with the goal of delivering pre-commercial solid state batteries to solid powers electric vehicle automaker customers for qualifications testing. Dr. Lee Song Jun, CTO of SK Innovation, spoke to the newly announced par um, uh, partnership and said, we are delighted to partner with Solid Power, an industry leading sulfide based all solid state technology company. We expect our partnership with Solid Power will play a pivotal role in developing higher energy, lower cost batteries to power longer range electric vehicles. Friends, as part of the agreement, SK Innovation will invest $30 million in solid power through a subscription to purchase uh, shares in DCRC's previously announced pipe uh, transition, which is fully committed at $165 million. Pipe here means private investment in public equity. Solid power will in turn license its proprietary technology and manufacturing practices to SK Innovation so the latter can fully integrate solid power sulfide based solid electrolyte material and the cell designs into its existing cell production process. Solid power expects to generate a small amount of revenue from research and development and sales of electrolyte samples beginning next year. Now electric uh, things and questions if it can scale. Electrex says if solid power's electrolyte proves viable with the help of SK Innovation, it could be a huge development for solid state batteries. Such a large battery manufacturer already has the production infrastructure in place and if it were able to successfully integrate solid electrolyte into the cells it's already producing, well, well that just might work. Still, this is another battery company with proprietary technology, like I just reported, uh, Hyundai and uh, Kia, that has yet to prove it can produce a battery cell that's at the very least comparable to price to lithium ion, at least for the time being. You can't argue that selling solid power doesn't have a lot of weight in, and cash behind it with investors like Ford, BMW, and now SK Innovation, battery giant. Oh, and an approved merger with DCRC certainly wouldn't hurt. We will have to wait, friends and see if this 
this is one of the solid state battery developers that finally breaks through it's still too early to tell at this point i still think toyota is the closest and then maybe quantum scape but we'll see however this technology as a whole appears to be inching closer and closer to scalable reality each time we hear about it and when it does happen it could thoroughly accelerate electric vehicle potential and adoption well let me know your thoughts what do you think friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for electric vehicle tesla battery news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up please share in social media if you found this report helpful god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and now let's move to the next story